there. In today's video, I want to show you how to take a screenshot of your website and then add it to one of our laptop mockups. So the first thing you're going to do is open up your website or your sales page or opt-in page, whatever page you want to display in the photo. So open it up and then what you may need to do is actually make your screen a little bit smaller. And on a Mac, what you'll do is just press command and the minus sign and that will actually make your screen a bit smaller so that you can capture more of the website when you do the screenshot. And then what you're going to want to do is press command shift and four that will bring up a little cursor and then just click and hold it down and drag it out in order to take a snapshot of your screen. And once you release it, it will be saved on your desktop. Now, if you're on a PC, I apologize because I don't know how to do this on a PC, but I'm sure if you Google it, you'll get an answer really quickly. It's probably something very similar. Once you have that screenshot, then what you want to do is log into the Style Stock Library and choose the photo that you want to use as the mock-up. Okay, so I'm in the Style Stock Library members area now and I'm going to choose the photo that I want to use. So I'm just going to scroll down to the uh, mock-ups area and then I'm going to select a photo. And when I find the one that I want, I will right click on it, open it up in a new tab because that will open up my high resolution photo. And then again, I'll right click and save my image to downloads. Then I'm going to open up Canva and I have to decide what size uh, image I want to create. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a Facebook post. So I've clicked on Facebook post and then I'll click on uploads and I'm going to upload my two images, the style stock library photo, as well as the screenshot that I took. Okay, so once those are uploaded, what I'll do is I'll first click on the photo image and then I will make it larger to fit the size that I need. Now with this image, I have a couple of options. I could, if I wanted to add text up here, I could definitely do that. Um, or I can also drag it out so that it fits more of the entire screen. Now you may notice when you do this that the image is starting to look blurry and for whatever reason this seems to happen in Canva while you're editing. But when you're done and you actually download the photo, you, will, you should see that the image is nice and crisp. I might bring it down just a bit. And that is centered there. Okay, so once I have it placed the way that I want, then I will drag in my screenshot. And I'm just going to size it to fit in the screen a little bit better. What if you want, if you hold down the shift key, you can actually um, change the size and also you know, sort of manipulate it whichever way you want, but you have to be careful doing this because then it might start to look squished and you definitely don't want that, but you could always try it and see how it looks. Okay. So now if you like how that looks, then that's fine. If you're thinking that it looks kind of squished like this, then I have another way for you to fit it into the screen. So let me just delete this and then I'm going to just drag a new one out and I'll just make it a bit smaller. And then what I'm going to do is hit crop. Okay. And then I can just kind of estimate and see where the screen would naturally fit. And then I'll press the check mark. There we go. And then that fits in a bit better. Sometimes with this, you do have to kind of play around with it a bit. If, if you hit crop again, you can make it slightly larger if you need to. Um, and then I'll just move it around until it fits properly inside my screen. So crop is a better way to do it because then you're not getting, um, you know, you're not changing the aspect ratio. And so it's not looking kind of wonky, but play around with it and see what works best for you. And then let's say that I wanted to add some text to the top. I could go ahead and do that. OK, 
can make it larger. Um, I can add a subheading. I can also make this uppercase if I want to. Um, move it all around and then I could put my website URL there so that people know where to find me. You know, if this is a Facebook post or whatever kind of graphic you needed. Make that a little bit smaller. And you know, it takes some time to play around with the spacing and make it the way that you want. So just, you know, give yourself a little bit of time to do that and get it looking the way that you want. This is just one example of how to display your work. Um, so let's say you're, you just rebranded and launched your website, or you have a great opt-in that you want to feature, or your new sales page is live. This is a really fun way to give people a preview of what that's going to look like. And then of course, in your copy, you can say anything that you want. So when you're done, just go to download. I like to download these images as a high quality PNG file, and then I would upload that to Facebook. 